Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach. Welcome to this week's video blog post. This week, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about TRACOM Social Style, which is a behavioral communications model that I use in my work. In fact, I use it as the foundational piece of my work because it's all about self-awareness. It's all about recognizing your own personal communication style, how we communicate with one another, but more importantly, at the initial stage, what our own personal communication style is, what our preferred way of communicating is. And very, if you're familiar with DISC, it's very similar to DISC um, with the four quadrants and where DISC is the D, I, S, and C. Uh, the social style is driver, expressive, amiable, and analytical. One of the things that I teach my clients is some very quick cues to figure out how, what style a person might be, wh whether they're a driver, whether they're an expressive style, whether they're an amiable style, whether they're an analytical style. And one of those is to walk into their office and see what's in their office. And that's why I'm standing here today because over my shoulder are my certificates and my awards. When I was in sales and sales roles, all my sales, I used to have all my sales plaques up on the wall with my sales awards, uh, salesperson, the general, you know, di division manager of the year and those things, because that is very much, I guess I'm the poster boy for the expressive style because the expressive person is really interested in personal recognition. He wants the pats on the back. He wants people to recognize him. In terms of birds, because I use birds as imagery for the different styles, the expressive is a peacock because it's, look, here I am, I'm right, uh, I'm right here, notice me, I'm front of center. That's very much an expressive thing. What, what are the problems with a person who is an expressive style? Is they find it very, very difficult to confront other people or to challenge other people. Or if they're managers or leaders, which is what happens in my work, I'm working with leaders, is to have difficult conversations with people. Why? Because they don't want to be disliked. They don't want the other person not to like them. So in my coaching world, there are some processes and ways around that that I take my clients so that they can manage that so they can shift their behavior so it's not much of an issue but one way if they're walking if my i'm talking to clients i say if you're walking into a business off, uh, office a, um, a client's office a customer's office take a look around the room if they've got a lot of certificates a lot of plaques of their awards on the wall they're probably an expressive so over the next couple of weeks i'm going to talk about the other three styles a little bit but Today, I wanted to focus on the expressive. Why? Because that's me. The other thing about an expressive you'll notice is when they're under stress, they have a tendency to attack. And what I mean by that is they'll say stuff or come out of their mouth without thinking. Um, they're, they're, they're very quick to judge sometimes. They're very impulsive. Uh, I, had, uh, I had somebody in one of my workshops once when I was asking them, okay, what do you do when you're under stress? Because they were kind of questioning where they fit in the social style model. And she said, well, I get a bit pissy. And I said, that's it, that, you nailed it. That you kind of, you know, you get a little pissy, you say stuff, maybe you didn't really mean it, but it's just a way of quickly to get back at somebody. So it's that attack mode. So that, that's another aspect of uh, the expressive personality. And as I said, they tend to be impulsive. In fact, I had a boss once said to me, John, one of your problems is, is that you ready, shoot, aim. You ready, shoot, aim, because you run off and do stuff without really checking, checking all the facts and information. I'm, it kind of, I joke that I go to Ikea, bring home the furniture and start putting it together without reading the instructions. And when I have a bit left over, oh yeah, maybe I should read the instructions. So that's a little bit about the expressive style. And as I said, over the next few weeks, I'll talk about some of the other styles. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you for connecting with me and uh, we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.